this is the fleece cheetah compressor housing so i'll show you some video of me machining it and i'll also show you what it looks like after it's done and give you some details of what needs to be done if you're trying to do a job like this yourself here's what it looks like after doing the machining To make this work for the cheetah, the, the cheetah wheel is a little bit deeper right there in the middle of the radius. I moved this step right here down 45 thousandths to be able to match the radius to the compressor housing once again. So everything is moved in. This step, this moved in, and this chamfer right here is moved in. So that, that was the best way for me to be able to make this housing work again for the 67 millimeter compressor wheel and be machined correctly. the plan for fixing this cheetah turbo that blew up. We milled out the bearing housing so that we could put a piece of stock in there. We'll press it in there so it won't be able to move any deeper. So it's going to be a 3000 press fit. I'm going to machine this piece right here, this bar stock, to fit down in there. I'll machine this on the lathe, bore it out a little bit on the inside, and then we'll take the milling machine and cut the inside of it out to the diameter that we need. And then we'll take a chamfering tool and cut the edges of it just like you see right there. And that will allow the piston ring seal to go back down in there and it will restore the tolerance to fix the bearing housing so it doesn't leak. If we don't do this, then because the wear that was there, then the oil is gonna leak past the piston ring seal so this is a good way to repair the bearing housing. Uh -huh. 